Hi everyone, welcome. So today we will be looking at a device called Sonoff. What is it? It is a smart Wi-Fi wireless light switch. What it will do is you can connect this to your electrical switch. It can be controlled through uh, Wi-Fi and also it can be connected to your Google Assistant or Alexa and you can tell commands like switch on the lights, switch off the lights, etc. So let's go ahead and unbox and see what is inside. So I bought this from Amazon and I paid like $12 for it. And in the box, we have the device itself. It's very small. It's got a wireless antenna, a few inlets, which we will take a look at in detail. So here we have neutral in, neutral in, line in, which is the live wire, line out, which is live wire out, and then S1 and S2. So these goes to your electrical switches. There's a couple of different things that you would come across when connecting Sonoff to your electrical switch. You could have a one-way switch or a three-way switch. I had a hard time finding instructions on the internet to connect my Sonoff to a three-way switch. So here in this video, we're going to take a look at how to connect this Sonoff device to a three-way switch which is also called a two-way switch in Europe. So in America, it's called three-way switch. And within the box itself, we have a DIY jumper cable, which you have to open up, sewn off, and put in the jumper cable, which I'm not going to do. And then a QC Past sticker, which is good because it tells you that the product is uh, quality tested and we have a user guide All right, so let's get started Here we have a schematic of a three-way switch in America It is called a three-way switch while in UK and Europe. It is called a two-way switch For a two-way switch as shown in figure one there are two electrical outlets Open both electrical outlets. The first thing to look for is the power source that is coming from your electrical cable box. The black wire usually is the live wire while the white wire is the neutral and the yellow in figure 1 is the other thing. The first outlet that I opened in my house was the outlet that is shown on figure 1 on the right side. I had the live black wire running into a black screw on the switch. The black screw is supposed to be called the common. The red and the white wire is connected to L1 and L2 on the switch. The red, black and white wires run through the cable into the other outlet. So for me, the Sonoff Mini should go into the second outlet which has the black and white wires coming from the light. This outlet will grant you access to the live wire from the power source as well as the wires that is coming from your light that you want to control. Now that we have identified our outlet, let's go ahead and take a look at the zone of mini schematics. The red LN that goes to the third inlet on the Sono is your live wire which is coming from your power source. The end in that is going to the first inlet on the Sonoff is the neutral wire that is coming from the power source, which is your electrical cable box. The black wire that is going to the second inlet on Sonoff is the neutral from your lights. The red wire that goes into the fourth inlet on the Sonoff is usually the black wire that carries the electric current. The last two inlets on the Sonoff S1 and S2 will have two wires running from it to the commons on both switches. The common is indicated on the switch by a black screw. Let's take a look at all the inlets. We have the neutral in, N in, and another neutral in, and then we have line in, line out, S1 and S2. So 
when you connect your wires, when you open up the electrical outlet, you need to be looking for a life wire. And the life wire would be your line in, which would be a third screw. And then you will have a line out, which would go to the lights itself. And within, with your line in cable, you would find a neutral in, which needs to be connected here. And then the line out, which goes to your lights, there will also be a neutral wire, which is a white wire, which would go into neutral in here, the first screw. And then the S1 and S2 would go onto the electrical light switch itself. Here I'm opening up the first outlet for the two-way switch. In the corner I saw a white cable which carried the black and the red wires which connected to this electrical switch. The black and the red wires were connected to the travelers on the switch. Travelers are also referred to as L1 and L2. Now it's time to find the light wire. I connected my tester to the first set of black and white wire. It did not light up. Then I connected to the other set of black wires. The tester lit up. To ensure in fact it is a live wire, try testing it out by turning on and off the switch. The tester light should remain lit. I noticed that one of the black wires from the light is running into the common on the switch. So on the switch we now have L1 and L2, the travelers, black and red, going to the cable in the corner and then the power which is coming to the common on the switch. This means that this box does not have the wires coming from the light itself. So I have to go to the second box of the two-way switch to find the wires that is coming from the lights. Here I do the same process of finding the live wire. Remember to turn on and turn off the switch to make sure it is in fact the live wire. Once you have identified the live, you have the live in and the neutral. So on this switch, I saw the travelers, the black and the red, as well as on the common, which is the black screw at the bottom, another black wire that is coming across. This black wire was the line out from the lights. Now it is time to start rewiring for Sonoff Mini. First I remove the hot wire coming into the uh, switch on outlet 1. On my white cable connecting the two switches, I have the red and the black which are travelers and the white which are currently connected to the neutral. I took out this white wire from the neutral connection in the junction box and connected it to the uh, common on the switch. We now changed outlet 1 switch to have no power. Just to make things simple, the traveler wires on both switches we do not touch. Connecting the white wire to switch 1 will now grant you access to switch 1 in outlet 2. In switch 1 we have L1 and L2 which are the travelers which we do not touch and the new white wire from L or the common would be our connection to S2. Alright, this looks like a big mess, but if you notice, um, I have my switch which I'm going to connect um, sewn off. So I have a red wire coming in, and on the other side, I have a black wire. And these are the L1 and L2. So when you turn on the switch and turn off the switch, the uh, contact would go to the left or to the right making contact and letting the power flow in. Now, we don't touch these wires, which is on both sides, the left and the right. So we leave those alone. And if you look at the other outlet, you will see the same two wires. So this is the other outlet for the two-way switch. And if you look, we have the black wire coming out of this um, switch and then the red wire coming out of the other switch so those two we leave it alone and then what I did is the third wire which is the white so we have the black the red and the white so the the white wire I connected it to the common down below here at the moment there is 
no live wires going into this switch. Now the live wire would be on the other outlet and I will explain again in a second. Again here we have the red wire coming out from the cable box from that cable right at the corner and here is the red wire and then we also have a black wire coming in and these two are going to L1 and L2. Now on the same switch the common we would be connecting to zone of mini to one of the S1 switches. So we would be going to the S1 common. So this wire would come from the uh, black screw uh, switch. And this is what would be powering the switch itself. And the S2 would be the white wire that we connected to the common on the other switch that I showed you. So here, that's also coming from the same cable inside. So we've got the red, black, and the white. In the white I named it S2. So this would go to S2 of the uh, Sonoff Mini. Now in this cable box I did identify this particular set of cable has life power even when the switch is turned on or off on all the switches here as well as the other outlets for the two-way. So I named it um, live in uh, it would go into L1 or LN in Zone of Mini. The line out, I did find it on the um, black pin or common that was on the main switch. So when I looked at it, I did see in the cable box, this is going to another set of, not this cable, but there's another cable that's coming. And that's actually the line that is going out to the lights itself to power it on. So that would be the line out that would be going into Son of Mini, L out. So I named it line out or L out. We also need a neutral in from this cable. I did see a white wire coming in or bunched together. And this I named uh, neutral in. And that is coming from the electrical cable box. I did identify another neutral which is the the wire that is going in to the middle cable right here which runs into the light so that is the lights neutral which would be going into neutral n1 so it doesn't matter which one it goes to but i will follow the directions on zone of mini wiring guide so let's hook it up so all wires are now connected we have S1 going into the common or the black pin on the switch and then we have a white that is running across from the other S so S2 and S1 and S2 has one of the white wires going straight into the cable, or cable at the corner which is actually coming in from the two-way outlet on the other uh, outlet box. We have the line in, which is the third screw here. The line in is actually coming in from this um, wire, which I made sure it has live connection always. And this, all these blacks are coming in from a cable that has a neutral coming out. And so I know this is going to be the neutral that is coming in. So I attached a new wire uh, from here all the way uh, into the first screw or N1. And then I have the fourth screw, which is line out. And line out, I knew it was uh, the line that was going uh, to the light because it was connected to this black pin which I attached and so that's all of the connections. Alright now since Sonop Mini is connected let's go ahead and test it out. Turning on the switch which turns on the light. Turning off the switch turns off the light here and then from Sonop Mini so if I keep pressing that 
that would turn on the lights. I can either press that button again or use the switch to turn it off. There we go. And then from the other outlet, turning on the switch, turns on the light and turning on, turning off the switch, turns off the light.